So um, I am in Heathrow after a very strange flight. So just some observations about the trip so far. Uh, I had a big lunch yesterday, so didn't have dinner. It's the first time ever that I've fallen asleep on a plane where she woke me up. The air hostess woke me up just before we take off, said, please put my, my chair upright. Now, I didn't put it down. It must have slipped, but first time, it's like, whoa, will we be there yet? No, we haven't taken off. Okay, cool. Um, I missed dinner specifically. Thank you. Um, I missed dinner specifically, and then once or twice in the evening woke up, and then... Um, had breakfast but your airplane food man after a while just like nah I can't do this so then so I normally depending on the flights and the stuff I book against the bulkhead so if I could put my feet up <laughs> being a little bit flexible helps so I put my feet all the way up and um, the guy next to me so I do believe it was his first time on a big international flight there's a couple of things now how you can tell but the eye opener for me this morning was when I woke up and I'm busy getting my shoes on and kind of ready to to, um, to land he starts handing the air hostess these little bottles of wine that you have he handed her seven of them apparently he had a good flight but I heard him saying to the guy next to him, I think it's someone coming to visit family in the UK just from the bit of conversation I heard with the guy next to him see I wear these don't talk to me on a flight, not interested. And it helped for screaming babies, big. Um, anyway, he's coming. And he, I don't know if there's drama or excitement for him, but the entire flight, when I was awake, he was on his phone, you know, the hunched over, reading and refreshing WhatsApp, waiting for messages to come in. Anyway, random. And then, it's quite strange. I've been to Heathrow a few times now over the last few months. Last time I was heading up to Svalbard. Yes, to Svalbard. And um, for, for a country who basically ruled the world, they colonized the whole world and they owned the whole world. I think Trevor Noah did a skit about the British just arriving at a place and saying, oh, we'll have that, we'll have that. So they own the world at one stage. They must have, Heathrow must have the most unfriendly and slowest security at an airport in the fucking world it's unbelievable it is ridiculous how slow it is uh, there's this big fat chap who's um body shaming he's just a big chap um all the guys been there for a while i uh, kind of know him i was like oh, how's it going i mean he's just friendly but i think i know him and he's supposed to, to 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 kind of he's the last as you come into the queue he's the last point of friendly contact from then on, it's just a shit show. Yes, I don't know where they find these people. Been through a lot of airports in my life, but Heathrow, you guys have to jack your shit up, man. Your security is just not ideal. Um, so just having a quick cappuccino now, and then I am in Terminal 5, which I'm a bit bored of now. There's nothing much here. For, again, for a big airport, not great shopping and stuff to look around here. I can go to the Harry Potter store. Woohoo! Leviosa. <laughs> anyway have a cappuccino and just some yogurt and muesli and then one more flight i've got about three hours here and then my i think it's seven hours 50 or something into chicago and now the time change starts so i am landing there at two o'clock uh chicago time which is nine o'clock south africa time which i think is seven o'clock this time so gotta love it anyway love travel love being back out there again super pumped for this trip with the the the, the presentations and workshops and stuff I'm going to be trying to do these videos in between as much as I can. Uh, also, oh, my B&H event confirmed, so that is streaming on the 2nd of March at 3 o'clock New York time. Um, I'll put it on my feed as well at some stage on my stories. But it's live streaming on YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo. It's called The Secret Life of Animals, an animal behavior, an animal behavior and wildlife photography. It's, the, it's a six-hour workshop I'm doing in, in Chicago. If you want to sign up, let me know. But then for B&H next week, I'm crunching it down to an hour. So it's kind of just the best of. But for the presentation, you're not going to get the manual. It's an 88-page manual that the people are getting on the workshop show. That's cool. Anyway, I need caffeine. Caffeine, just caffeine and coffee is caffeine. I need that. I'm going to go now. I've got all puffy eyes. Anyway, I'm going to go. Have a good one. Heathrow, jack up your security. Bye.
Thank you.